Hello, it's um, Kay in front of the camera. And Maggie behind. And this is our castle nook. Oh, we're really excited. And this is the one that Maggie's decorated. Um, and she's got, we've got, the, you can see the um, uh, night in Shining Island. You can see the night, you can see the brickwork that's yep. with our brand new stencil. stencil yes. And the, and the best bit is, it, oops, if I could do this. It's I'm interactive, done. it's best to work, works. There we go. Yeah, there we and are. the drawbridge. Portcullis goes down. down. Port, yeah, portcullis goes down, not the drawbridge. Sorry, so the portcullis goes down. There we go. And you've got lots of things in there. So if I show you the blank one, you probably get a better idea of what you can do. So that's the inside of the blank one. So can you see that? Yes, we can. Okay. So it's not because that's it's, it's, it's a bit lighter, so you can probably see yep. better. So you've got um, is it a balustrade or a battlement? Battlements. Battlement. You've got battlements on there. Um, you've got your mirror again at the back. So you can see through. So you've got a mirror and you've got your light. Um, you've got some braziers. And you've also got um, a couple of what Maggie had on hers. Shields. Shields on there as well. Okay, so. And the portcullis that goes up and down. And the portcullis that goes up and down. Let's, let's see if it does what it's up and down. Yes, it does. Yep. Okay, and up and down. And down. Perfect. Okay, so you can have which, how you like it. There we go. So that's how the whole thing looks when you've done it. So, and we also get a knight. So we're going to do our night in shining armour, although it's not in shiny because I haven't painted it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so in your kit you get a sheet of MDF which is two mil thick, so that's a, th a thinner one. So you get all your bits for your night, which I've taken out. Then you get um, some uh, trellisy work and you get your little brazier bits as well. So we put those in later. So And that's the front of your castle for your stonework at the front. Okay, so. That comes out of the two, two mil MDF. You get some light board arches. So you get that as part of the kit as well. And they're cut out for you. So everything we have is tabbed. So it comes to you in a good state and then you can just um, cut the tabs and then it falls out and then you can use it as you like. So that's the light board. Again, we come to that. And then you get all your main construction parts for your castle. So on your instructions, you have your layout sheet and it tells you what everything is. Okay, so that's already on your layout sheet. So that tells you what everything is. Okay, so. And if you have any the, questions or yeah, you're not sure about anything, yeah, just email us. Email us. And if you're in our Facebook group, just message us on that. So yeah, don't forget, Cool, cool Cats Craft um, Facebook group and you get lots of ideas as well. So and, and help. we love to see them when they're finished. Yeah. So, I'm going to put the night together first. So, you've got all your bits for your night. So, you have your main body. And then you have your front part of the armour. And then you have your back. And then that's the front of the armour. And that's back shoulders on that one. And that's a gauntlet. There's a foot or leg. Leggings and a boot. Again, leggings and a boot. And that's your visor, that's your shield, your little dinky sword, and that's the stand. So if you look so. at that, you can see they're all, they've all been cut <coughs> from the front, so they're all the same way facing up. Does that make sense? All the, yeah. all the dark marks are at the front, so you know you've got it all the right way. Okay, so what I've done is I'm going to use our new laser cut glue kit. And when you first get it, you take the pin out, which I just did. So that's the pin that comes with it. And then you unscrew this bit. And you just take this white little peggy out, just put that to one side, and then you screw that back in, and that's ready to go. Okay. And that's on our website, isn't it? Yeah, that's you can get that on our website if you've got one already. Yes, take the white piece out because I didn't read the instructions and I couldn't understand why the glue wasn't working. That's the reason why the glue isn't working. <laughs> so, and when you, if you're using it for um, a kit, if you have a little pot with um, a sp wet damp sponge in, you can just turn it in upside down and it doesn't dry out the glue and it's ready to use. So it says it's also faffing around with the pin. Top tip. So, so, so you want to layer this up. So you've got your front of your knight like that. And then the, the, the visor is going to go like that. These little feet are going to go in like that. And then you're going to put the sword across. And the gauntlet goes on. Whoops over the top like that and then you have your shield which fits in like that. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in, hold on. So that, that is your layout, so in, in layers. 
Yeah, it just needs to go towards you a smidge. There we go. That's okay. perfect. Yep. All right, so I'll just take those off again. Now I'll put them on. I'll put, take them off and start sticking. Okay, so I'm going to go part way through, then I'm going to turn around and do the back, and then I'll carry on doing the front. That makes sense. It will do as go. So we'll stick this bit on. So a little bit of glue. You don't need very much. It's really good, this glue, isn't it? And it yeah, you it, get a really fine piece, because it's like quite small pieces, so you get fine. That little blob in the middle is probably too much, but we'll go with it like that and it will dry clear so if you can see some you can either wipe it off or don't worry about it because it will dry clear okay and it's quite thin so you don't need that much at all so that's more like what you need i think this is one of my i think this might be my favorite one so far what nook nook yeah okay so like that okay so what now at this point i'm going to turn them over make sure he's lined up so all his, little, all his head bits are lined up together. And I'm going to do the back. So the back will just fit on like that. And then on the back like that. So that's the back of him. So, So what I need to do is just to make sure that's all his little head, head and shoulders are together. Okay, and then turn him over. And we'll put his visor on. So for integrate stuff like this, the visor's brilliant. And if you, you want to shake your hands, so just make sure his visor's in the right place. That's it. Okay, you can, can use the tweezers if you want to. So I'm going to put a little bit on the sword. It's really accurate, isn't it, that glue? Yeah, so it's really, it, was, it is precision for precision cut. So you put your um, sword on like that, and you put your little visor on, uh, your gauntlet over the top of that. Because you're just layering on here, you can paint these before you put it together, if you want to. Right around. Like that, and then you can put the shield on. I think I painted mine before I put it together. Yeah, so you can do that. Yeah. So, it, so you, so it just sits on top of the shoulder here, and and onto the um, sword here. Because his hand is behind the shield, so you can't see it. So, and what one there? That one there. Then we put his legs on. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down there. A little bit down like that. It's the easiest way of doing that. And don't put it on those little luggy bits like I have, because that's where you put it into the stand. So you put little stockings and corners on. Okay, so like these bits here sit into this stand here. So when he's dry, which is not far off now, because this glue just doesn't take long to set. So you're going to put a little bit of glue on there and there and then we just put them into a stand like that perfect okay and then you've got oops like without without <laughs> without any feet monty python <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> come back if you're a coward yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go so just put them back on there okay and then let's we'll probably just leave that to set Okay, so we'll just leave that to set, so just put one to us. So that's your night. Use put the outside case together, and um, I'm going to use a speed bond, which is um, a really quick um, PVA glue, so it's brilliant for this. So this game this is on the website if you need to get some. So open it up, let's hope it's going to work. So it should come out, hopefully. There we go. So I've put some tape on here to keep it into place. Let's put the glue on all sides. This is a bit boring to watch, I'm afraid. So I'm going to speed this up a bit. So all the indenty bits I'm putting glue on. Size are 
the front of your nook is always the flat bit. This piece with the one notch on it is at the um, top of the um, nook. So that's at the top. And then you've got the side and the base. So that's the side. And that's the base. And it's exactly the same for the other side. So that's the front of the, the nook. This is the top of the nook. Okay, so put the glue on. So it just slots in to that side like that. And I'm just, it is a, a quick grab, but I am going to use a bit of tape just to hold it in place. that one on. So it fits those together. Oops. Like so. So let's make sure that fits in. Okay. Why did I put glue on the top there? I don't know why I did that. So it's totally unnecessary. Anyway, so we're just going to put this and then hold it in place. And then that one at the bottom. And then we can turn it over and put the side on. I don't know why I, I didn't. You don't actually need glue on the top. I don't know why I did that. It's not heavy on a long day. So we need to make sure that the flat bit's at the front. Make sure it's the right way around. And that just fits in like that. I'll just tape it into place. So it doesn't take long to dry, but while it is drying, it just sets everything up. What tape are you using, Kay? Oh, I'm using our orange tiger tape, which is perfect for this. And again, I don't need that little piece there, but I'll use that later. So that is your base of your uh, nook, and just leave that to dry. Uh, which, because I've just used a speed bond, isn't very long. <laughs> This is the staircase, so the stair pit parts, the um, tread and the uprights come out of these pieces, which I've already taken out. Um, that's your stair staircase um, wall. side. Wall. Yeah, wall was a good idea. That's good. Uh, and you have this little piece and this little piece that come out of the two mil sheet. So you need these little pieces as well. Your little and tabby bits, where the little marks are, where the tabs came out, you can sand that down, can't you? Yes, before if you want you, to. Yeah, before you stick, stick yeah, them on. if you want to. So what I've done, I've, I've put this face down and I'm going to put a little bit of tape along the diagonal and stick it on because it'll like, make, make life easier in a minute. So like that. So when I come to stick these on, they will stay into place. So I'm going to use the speed glue for this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the glue all the way down on these pieces here. So just a little bit of glue as it comes out, that's it, a little bit of glue on each side. Do you know about this glue as well, I really like the nozzle because it doesn't cut the top, doesn't come off so you don't lose the top, top yeah. and it twists and seals. So I get a bit of a mess of it but it doesn't matter. I can just now you could use your laser cut glue if you wanted to, couldn't you? You could do, yeah. I'm going to use that in a minute for the other bits but I'll use it for the speed one. Okay, so you've got your glue all the way down there. And then all you do is get your your upright, first upright, fits in at the top, like so. You see that? Yes. And then the second, and then the, the tread fits in like that. So you just want to put a little bit of glue along here. I'll get like that. And make sure that's nice and square and then basically all you're doing is going all the way down and then having the bit of tape there helps keep everything in place so you just put a little bit of glue on there that makes such a difference doesn't it yeah and it just keeps everything up right so you basically want to make sure that it fits into there in. into there square hold on and onto that square yeah okay okay you got that mm -hmm. can, you, can you see that yep okay and then just basically you just work down so just put a bit of glue down one side and put it into place. And you're just basically working your way down. So, yeah, I must say, staircases are def definitely difficult to mm. design. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of scratching my head. 
you know, try, the idea is to try to make it as simple as possible mm. to put together. So just make sure everything is nice and square up. There you go. And obviously you'll keep your tape in place until when it's until it's dry. But because I'm using a speed bond, that's only going to be a few minutes. Makes such a difference having the tape there. It just it, yeah, it just makes everything stay upright where it's meant to. And of course, these can be worn, so it doesn't matter if they're a little bit hic if you do get them a hickle pickledy because they, they will be worn. And the other thing you can do is also sand in areas to sit like for the wears. central yeah. bit, yeah, wear and so you can tear. Wear and tear. Yeah. You're doing a spiral one next, Kay. You have no idea the complexity <laughs> of a, spi a spiral. <laughs> no pressure. <coughs> we're lucky we're on video because otherwise it would have been a, a different reply. <laughs> But a spiral one would be very nice. It would be very nice, yes. Yes, the, the complex, the, I don't quite sure <laughs> whether my mass is anywhere near good enough for a, a spirally one. Well, it would be better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have looked into it and then I sort of backed away in the haste. That's going together so quickly, isn't it? And so easily. <clears throat> I'm saying it's, just, it's, not, it's, quite, it's quite satisfying, this mm. actually. It's a, sort of a bit of mindfulness. Yeah. Just make sure they're nice and straight. So just the last couple to put in. Last one, so I put a little bit more glue down in the side. That's, that's on the bottom, isn't it? I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, okay? So that's, oops, make sure that's on there like that. Okay, so there we go, that's your staircase done. Cool. And it should look like that. Can you turn it sideways for me as well? Other way. Other way? Yeah. Okay, and then I won't take the tape off yet, but I will do in a minute. Yeah. And then just, just while it's just before it completely sets, although it has, because that glue is quite quick. It has already set a bit. So just make sure it's got it in the list. Okay, and then next bit you can put on is your um, bars. What do you call them? Grids? Grids, I grids, think grids, so, yeah. grids. So that fits in in there like that, nice and neatly like that. And that one fits in brightly. I've been looking in the instructions. Does it go onto the side? It goes on the front like that. Yeah. Like that. Okay? It fits. Oh, so it doesn't fit there, it just fits on the top. Okay, so this time I'm going to use the um, precision glue. And put that into place. So that just fits in there like that. That's sitting on top of the edge, isn't it? Yeah, it's just sitting on yep. top of the edge. So just sit there, that's where that's meant to be, and that's that right. And this one, you just want to put the bits of glue this is why this is brilliant. It's just a bit of a little bit of glue there. So I mean, it's quite runny, so just so not because you really don't need very much, do you? At no, all? you need to just a tad. So I'm get my finger out of the way. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, and I am checking to see. Okay. <laughs> well, she hasn't gone off and done it. I get carried away and watch 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 Kay, and then I forget to look at the video screen. That's if she's not ordering stuff from the internet. Oh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay, and that just sits in there like that. Okay, and while that's setting, you just leave that to one side for a minute, and then we'll do the next bit. This is um, stuck enough now, so I've taken the tape off here, and what you do is just put this piece of archway around the top like that. Now you can decorate this with well, in fact, I would recommend you probably decorate this first and you can decorate, decorate this separately and then just put it on the top. Just be careful not to over wet it because it just it get too soft. So I was going to use the speed thing again. So let's get a bit of glue on that. I kept okay. some of the waste of my light board. Mm -hmm. I used to cut additional, like, 
bricks to fit on top of the battlements. Oh, right, so that's it a good gave idea. it a bit yeah. more depth. Yeah, you, you should have a reasonable amount left. Yeah, there was loads those left. Those. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, so that's then you do that to one side for the minute, and then you're going to put these two pieces together. So you, there's a bit with a slot there and that. So you're going to just stick it down this side. So I'll just put some glue on the inside of that and that side. And this one. I've already put a little bit of tape on there because that's where I'm going to use that to secure it. And that just fits in like that. And just put a little bit of tape there to secure it. And because I've got the speedy bond, it won't take long to set. So that's it at right angles like that. Perfect. Okay. You get this piece back. And you're just going to put on your arch surrounds on this. So again, you could have decorated this first before you, and then put these on. And obviously you can decorate these as well as you wish. Make so, sure you decorate so. all the other side of it. Same with the staircase, because otherwise you see it with the mirror, once yeah. the mirror's in. Because I thought I'd done all of it and there was one bit that I'd missed. <clears throat> so when you, yeah, so you want to decorate this side and this side mm. and that side. You just put that across like that. They just finish it, it off beautifully. Yeah, it makes it look like cloisters in, doesn't it? Mm. There's a... We'd have assignations behind the... Uh, behind the That's a long word. Is, I'm not going to ask you if you can spell it. Well, the, answer, <laughs> the answer to that is quite simply no. A meeting uh, or a uh, tryst. Yes, well, if, if I... I'll be words of one, one syllable if I had to spell everything <laughs> I'd just say. <laughs> okay, and I'll just put this one on as well. That looks so nice, Kay. So, that's, so that fits in like that. So I'm just going to take the tape off because I don't need the tape on there now. And you obviously you don't want to see it either. A bit of orange tape in there. Okay, the next bit is to put in the side panels and the back and the, the, the this this end piece at the, um, that supports the balustrade. Um, we had to go before, <laughs> and without reading the instructions, because it's a while since I did these, so we will do it properly now. <laughs> okay, so what you're doing, you need to, need to get your base back, and then you're going to put this piece in at the back. So flush, uh, flush against, against the back wall. So we're going to stick that piece in. So we're just and beforehand, gonna... You've decorated the top of your inside nook with the sea scene, uh, not a sea scene. Oh a, yes, a sky scene. Yeah. So if you want, um, yeah, if you want here, if you want um, a, a, a bit of sky and maybe a bit of a hill underneath, if you want to see. So yeah. Because you don't want plain MDF, do you? No. So so, so stick this one at the back. Like so, and, and then just. That's it. That's it. Yep. Right. And these pieces here fit in. <laughs> right. So this one here, with the one with the hole here, fits into this side, and then this one fits onto this side. But before that, you need to put your mirror in. Okay. So you got to that point. And that's where you need to put your mirror in. So you put your mirror and in now. Would have decorated those, wouldn't you? Before you. Put yes, them in. you would have done. Yeah. So so you got your mirror. So you take off the um, protective sheet. And at the bottom of this, I've got a piece of tacky wax, which is available on the website. Amazing and stuff. It's, and it's really cool stuff. So you dig out a little bit, and that a little blob of that will just put something in place, and it stays in place until you want it removed, and then it will remove without any residue whatsoever. So it's better than the blue stuff. Much better because that leaves an oily residue yeah, sometimes. Yeah, and, it's, it's, and it doesn't stick so well. So you need to angle your mirror at the back. So you can see you've got your mirror angled and it is just underneath. Just come forward. That's it. Yeah. Alright, as you've got mirror underneath and you've angled it so that it's just below that little hole, that long hole. Mm -hmm. So you can start putting these in. So you put this one on this side. And then to the one on the other side. So I'm just going to glue those together. Right, so what, make sure you've got a bit, as you can see, I've already done this once. 
Okay, we'll, we'll try it a second time. Lucky, with a bit of luck. So you put your water glue on here. It's only because Maggie kept putting hers in and out. She was an expert at taking it off. I, I would have... What did I use? <laughs> I used Ooh, our Teflon, our a Teflon, multi-purpose Teflon, Teflon tool. So that fits in. So it is actually flush against that. Yeah. Which makes I more sense. Pour the smidge when you're ready. Okay, so with a little bit of waste, what I tend to do is make sure that that just stays open. So sometimes it can, it can bend in a bit. So what, clip there if you want yeah, I'll just put if I put that in, so that's right. That's so it. now I know that's three mil. That's going to be three mil, and then I can just clip that into place. And that's again that bit there wouldn't be on yours. That's where I attempted to prise prise it open, when, uh, prise this off, and I, before Maggie got at it for me. Right, so I just squidge that flush and do that the same on the other side. So I'll just glue this. Again, just need to make sure that I've got someone here. Okay, so just want to make sure that that's flush along here, stuck down there, and flat there, and I'll just get my little bit of waste. And make sure I've got it three mil along here. I need to, have to look at it because I can't see it from beyond. Yeah. That's it like that. And I'll just tip, let's clip it in place. By your speaker. And the reason we do that is so you've got um, the exact yeah, you've got three mil. measurements so your portcullis can go up and down really easily. Yeah, otherwise you might find it your portcullis, but I just jam a bit. You don't want that. I don't think we're having a portcullis that jams. Oh, no. <laughs> so make that sure that's nice and flat. Okay, so that's stuck in like that. Okay, so you've now now I need to put in the back piece. So that little slot there fits into this slot here. Can you see that? Yeah, if you come forward just switch. There like that. It fits in there above the mirror. Above the mirror. Okay. Yep. So we'll do that. And right. the circular hole there is to hold the light, isn't it? Yes. So what I need to do is it's put some glue on. There, and I'll put a bit of glue on the back there. Right, so I'm going to have to face, I'm going to do this facing, I'm afraid. That's okay, when it's stuck, turn it round and we'll... And that fits in. Like so. Okay. That's it, perfect. All right. Yep. Okay, you can probably take these off now. Yep, lovely. Mm. I'll put a bit more glue down the side there, actually. On the top. Oh, so yeah. It's come away, so... Squidge it up. Place. That one. That one's okay. Mm. Okay. So you got that part. So now, so you got this piece here like this. So now we're going to put in the um, cloisters and um, balustrade bits. They, they, they look like Which you will have painted on both sides. Yes. Okay. So you need to put this piece in. If I just put it in, like so. Okay. So you need to glue that piece in. Yep. Okay. So I'll just put a bit of glue along there and along there, like that, and a bit on the end. It fits in like that. Now this bit here, now you're going to put this in, and it fits in, but you need to do it at an angle. Yeah, so I'm not 100% sure whether I can actually show you to do that. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on on these pieces. Well, you can't put it straight in because you've got the notch sticking out, haven't you? Yes, so but it just fits in the notch. You just, you just got to angle it so it fits in. Just put a little bit of glue on. So would you angle it and then put it onto the notch, as it were? Yes. Yeah. So put a bit of glue on. So it sort of fits in. Yeah, we can see that. Like, like that, and yeah. it slots in there. But it's, it's a little bit of faffing around to do it, so... No, we can see that. And it just sort of slips... That's it. Basically, it slots in. So, like Perfect. so. Okay. So, if you want to, you might just need to hold that in place while there's glue. So, you want that flush, this bit here, mm -hmm. flush. So, that's, that's the bit where you, your light walks apart, and that's where you put your um, light hole. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. So, just hold that in, and then the next thing is to put your uh, staircase back in, into it. So, I'll just put your staircase in. So that fits in 
on that side so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this bit here. Don't forget to paint the inside of that as well because it will show with the mirror. So again, yeah, so there's, not, there's a lot of decorating on this one. It's really good fun. And I'll, I'll, put, I'll put this in and you'll see how you put your, that's it, and it just, it just slots into the side like that and as you can see my top stair wasn't straight. But it doesn't really matter because like, it's a bit hickledy pickledy. It's perfect. So you can like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is make sure that. So you put a little bit of tape on here if you want to. You need to push your staircase in as well. Yeah. Okay. So I just put a little bit of tape on just to keep that in place. And staircase likewise. Have a new bit. <laughs> Treatments have to have a new piece of tape. Right, so just okay. So, so just make sure that just stays straight like that. I might put a bit more glue on that. There you go. So you just you just need to make sure that's mm -hmm. going to stay like that. Okay. Little circle right, ones that have been etched zoom. on there. But I can't see it lifted up. If we put a piece of paper behind there, there we go. I see. You see that now? Is uh, that better? Yeah, you can probably see it better. If you look in, you can see little tiny circles yeah. on each bit. Each bit. So that's the bit that's facing down. So you can decorate this, probably decorate it now. Uh, Maggie put little, little um, drops of um, glossy accents on it and then went over a gilding wax to make it look like metal. Uh, so it's entirely up to you how you do yours. So you put that face down. And you get this little piece here, with that bit there, and put a little bit of glue on it. You really need to leave that to set, don't you? Because it gets yeah. a lot of welly, that. Yeah, so I'm gonna, actually I'll put some glue on this side as well. Make sure we've got nice glue on there. And then, okay, and then leave that. I'll put a little bit of tape on it just to keep it upright. Okay, and then we'll just leave that to set. So that's your portcullis bit done. So you just wait. Put, leave that to set. So this is your frontier castle. You as you look into it. So you have this piece here. So put a little bit of tape on already. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here, like that, and like that. And then I'm going to put this piece. So it's perpendicular. So it stands up on that. So just put a bit of glue on these. So that fits in like that, okay, and then this piece fits in to that bit, but you face it on the other side. Yeah. So, okay, so this is this is going to face outside, so you want to see the, te the um, etching on the outside. So that fits into those little, little holes in there, can you see that? Yes. Little lugs there? Would you leave that, to, leave that part to, to really set before you stick the next bit in? Yeah, you would do, yeah. So just make sure you've got glue on there, and then that fits in. Sort of slides like, in, doesn't it? Slides in like that, so, and then squidge it into place, and then leave that to set. So, can you see that? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so, so that's the reason why you don't do that, and lift it up. So it fits in like that, okay, and then just leave that, and that needs to set for a few minutes. Okay, so while you're waiting for that lot to do its stuff, you could do it for brazier. What I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. okay. So you got two. So you know, so you can decorate these first or decorate them afterwards. So you've got those bits and those bits. So you want to put these on, so they sit onto the flat of the wall, like that. Does that make sense? So it's on the inside of the. Yeah. Right. I'm, what I'm going to do, Kay, is I'm going to put a piece of white paper behind. Yeah, that's you good and idea. Zoom in because it's difficult to see. Okay. Right, you're central there. Perfect. Okay. Right. So. So you've got your cut side, your, good, your better side, and your outer side. So you have which side you prefer. So you put them face down like that, and then you've got your 
you've got a right angle here which you want on the other facing you like so like that and that sits on top of the, the bottom the one you've got yeah. on the bottom yep yeah. okay okay so i'm going to do, do one first right i'm just going to zoom in a little bit oh, right, and watch where exactly where you place place the glue right this one this is why this is good the glue is great because it's a position yep. one okay so i'm going to put a little bit of glue along there on the top there and along here yeah like so okay and then you've got your little right, right angle bit will fit on there so i haven't got well it's fine so i haven't got a skin condition it's it's, I'm not, it's, it's glue peely. it's glue <laughs> well i've got eczema but however it's, it isn't my eczema that does that so <laughs> that's really that's really unhelpful Okay, so that's on there, and that is your little brazier done. And then that gives you a flat surface so you can stick it to the wall, doesn't yeah. it? Okay, and then basically you just do the same same again with the other one. Okay, and again, cool. leave that to dry, so I'll just do that quickly. And you can position those where you want really, can't you? Yeah, entirely up to you. You can have them on the outside of it if you want to. I made little um, beacon things with some dowel and a bead on the top. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, but there's lots of different bits you can do. I did think about tissue paper with them, um, something inside. Oh, yes. It sounds like a lot of like flames or... Yeah. Burning, that's the whole burning point. straw, whatever. Yeah, that's the whole point of these. You can just have so much fun putting whatever you like in them. Okay. So that is the razors, and you can let those d uh, dry. And I was saying, so you can decorate them before you do that bit or you do it afterwards. It's entirely up to you before you put them together. So just leave those to, to set. Right, so you come back here to okay. your portcullis, which is probably just about set. Okay, so if you're using a, a non-speedy glue, you probably want to leave it a little bit longer. Find out, we'll find out by taking it, take this tape off and find out if it falls to pieces or not. There you go. Okay. So. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to put the um, portcullis in and the front of your um, castle. So as part of your things, you get your surround for your gateway, archway, gateway, gateway, yep. archway. And you get a little one that you can put on the top here for like extra stonework. So we'll just put those on. I'm going to use the laser glue. That's a quick. Okay, so you wipe off any excess if it does dry clear. So you just put that on like that. Okay, and then we'll just put this piece on. Again, you can decorate this before you de put it on there. Obviously, you can dec decorate this bit with um, stone work or whatever. Ooh, okay, so like that. Okay, so what you first of all is you do your portcullis, which is now stuck like this, and you try it into the little guides that you made earlier, so that like fits in there like that. So what I'm going to do is make sure it goes up and down, and then just make sure it fits. And you're just going to place it when it's not falling when it's not falling off onto. The little lugs here, so I need to just just sitting on the on the front of that. Yeah, so that's, because it, yeah, because we can, see. can you see what I've done yeah, there? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, yeah. you've got to be careful because it's it, it does tend to bow out this way, mm -hmm. uh, but when you've stuck this on, yeah, it won't. But you want to make sure that your um, portcullis doesn't bend too much into the, the those are grooves, otherwise you won't be able to lift it up and down. Yeah. Okay, but can you see you see how the, the gap you got there? Yeah. I wanted to, just want to make sure that doesn't. That. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this across here and glue it into place. Yep. Okay, and then make sure that this side bit and this side bit are flush, are flush and that means everything will be in place then. Okay. So you want to just put that to hard back if you can, without it falling down. 
So I'm just going to put some glue on and let's put some glue around the edge. Oops. Move that carefully. That way. I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to move that. Got the top closed. No, I didn't get it. Nope. Did you? That's it. There we go. So I've got a little bit of glue down here. So a bit of glue down there and on the top. Okay, I don't want to do anything on the um, portcullisy bit either, so I'm just going to make sure that's. And that fits in like that. Okay, so. I'll bring this back. And then we're just going to stick the front on. So it's nice and flush and nice and even. So make sure that that's nice and flush that side and that side. And obviously you can put a bit of tape on just to ensure that's going to fit square. So it fits square on that side. And on the top. This tape is brilliant for doing this. I know. Absolutely brilliant for doing this. It's designed to work on okay. really delicate surfaces, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, so, so we use it in paper craft as well. Yeah. Okay, so again, you must make sure this is all square, so that at the top. Let's push that down. And on the side. That's flush there. And then let's make sure, it, again, it's in at the bottom yeah. as well. So do the, make sure to do the bottom. And then just leave that to dry for a bit, and then you can put in your little bits and pieces, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so what you do now is just leave that to set. Mm -hmm. So and we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay, so obviously you can put these in. So, <coughs> just, so they, they will go on like that. So yep. that's how they'll stick on. So you can put those where you like. <coughs> you get a couple of shields, so you can put those. Maggie put hers on the front, which looked brilliant, so I had to put, had to put one of these on. So she's decorated hers, and she put hers at the front. Like, yeah, I put it up. That's it, like, yeah. Yeah, about yeah. there. She put one there, yeah. and you've got a different shape one if you want to put that somewhere else. Um, you also get, obviously, a cat. So you had to have a castle cat. You do, to keep the rats away. Castle, castle cat. And Maggie added, um, oh, you've got your knight. Oh, do you want my flag? You've got your knight in shining yeah. armour. When, he has shine, when, you, when you've done a shiny armour, you can make yourself a little flagpole out of a piece of paper, a dowel, a dowel and, a and a bead, bead. and a wooden bead. Yep. So and it, it, it sits in it sits in nicely there. You have your light, so which obviously fits in the top. So in that hole there is where your light a bit is. Oops. A bit feeble. The okay. Going. Okay. So your light fits in there. Fits in there like that now. So I'll be moving this around, the portcullis went down, but as you can see, it fits in. So when you lift it up, you just move it forward onto those little, uh, little mm -hmm. lugs, and then when you want it down, it just goes into your into, okay. into test. So you can have it up or down, which is heavy. So just leave that to dry, and then you can decorate it as you wish. And don't forget to show us your pictures. Yes, do. Please. Please do. All right, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.